Worth, Illinois, a small town near the town in which I currently live, there is a dog blessing. I've always wanted to attend one. I asked my father if my dog Pickles is Catholic, and he says that he is. I was going to bring him, but plans fell through, so now I'm here alone. A few lines of folding chairs are set up in the lawn of a large church. In front of the chairs, there's a large yellow cross, about the height of a two-story house. The mood of the event is pleasant. The dogs are half restless and half otherwise. Some roll in the grass. Some sit still as a bone, but deep in thought. A few remind me of dogs that family friends had growing up that have since died. It makes me feel both happy and sad to see them again. approaches the folding table in front of the cross and begins his remarks. He gives thanks to the attendees and he recites the following prayer. O God, you've done all things wisely. In your goodness, you've made us in your image and give us care over living things. Reach out with your right hand and grant that your bounty and the resources of this life may move us to the eternal life of living things. May God, who created the animals of this earth as a help to us, continue to protect and sustain us with the grace his blessing brings, now and forever. A man approaches the priest and with a hand sweep, instructs all the people to get up with their dogs and take their places in line for the blessing. Everyone rises from their folding chairs and gets in line. The holy water is a brief splash on the heads of the dogs, and this is when some dogs go wild. They jump at the holy water wand, thrilled. Some are uncomfortable. Some don't care much. None of them seem dismayed at their circumstances, and they shouldn't. The priest seems very friendly, with no other intention but sending the dogs to heaven. Some of these people and their dogs have known this priest for a very long time. It is evident in their smiles. I am not sentimental, but the love between them is striking. It takes my breath away. They know that if there is a better place, it is where their beloved friends will go, and perhaps they will see them there. I wander the grounds after the event. I think about what will happen when my own dog passes away. I hope whatever is on the other side, he finds peace. I love him so much.